What's up guys, my name is Chris and welcome to my channel. I love houseplants, I love aquariums, I love lots of stuff, so please subscribe. Uh, in today's video, I wanna show you how to cycle a fish aquarium using fish. I know that people are somewhat against this in the aquarium hobby, but here's the thing. It doesn't always have to be bad or harmful to the fish. So let's talk about how to cycle a fish tank with fish. So chances are you came to this video trying to figure out how to cycle a fish aquarium because you're setting up a new fish tank. Congratulations, keeping fish tanks is awesome. Just be careful because it can get super, super addicting. Ask me how I know. Um, so what I wanna get at guys is cycling an aquarium is somewhat of a debatable, uh, controversial topic in this hobby. First of all, let's go over here. First of all, there's tons of products on how you can cycle an aquarium. Here's one right here, API Quick Start. Um, this is a product you can add to your fish aquarium and it's supposedly going to allow instant addition of fish. Immediately starts an aquarium cycle. Uh, there's, there's, there's tons of products like this. A lot of the big brands have products like this. And if I'm being completely honest, here's one here too. Live nitrifying bacteria and ammonia uh, from Fritz. This is maybe one of the best ones you could use. If I'm being honest though, I don't like any of them because I've done tests where I've used these products next to not using any products and it didn't cycle any faster. So that being said, uh, my, my opinion on how to do this, I wanna give you guys a simple breakdown on this because I've set up so many fish tanks and uh, this is how I do it. Well, first of all, let's talk about the fish list cycle because a lot of people are wondering this as well. So with the fish list cycle, uh, here's some fish food. All you do is you have nothing in your aquarium except a filter. All you do is add a pinch of fish food like every three to five days or something like that. And over the span of six weeks or so, maybe four to six weeks, what happens is the fish food breaks down inside the aquarium, essentially starting to decay and it turns into ammonia in the tank, and then that turns into nitrite, and then turns into nitrate, and then what happens is, as it flows through the filter pad, nitrifying bacteria start to grow on that filter pad and feed on that nitrate. Hopefully that's not too complicated. So uh, my advice though, is to, is to do a fish in cycle. This is how I set up all my aquariums. So what I do is I'll set up the aquarium, and this is my secret, I shouldn't even give it out. First of all, Let's use a different tank, because that one has a bad glare. This is a big boy tank, but all the tanks are the same, right? Get yourself a filter, get yourself some live plants, because live plants are what you need. Sorry, glares. Live plants are mother nature's filter, and you need them. If anything, you should be using floating plants, because floating plants are going to save your butt when, when, th when bad things are in the water. For instance, when we, God, I just ran into that piece of driftwood. Why is that there? I just have random pieces of driftwood in my house. Yeah, that's how you know it's my house. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is get yourself some floating plants and live plants in the substrate, root feeders, uh, because the mix of it is the secret sauce in these live plants. Because what happens is what we want to do is we want to add one or two small little tiny fish, guppies. Guppies are indestructible, and I always tell people to start with them because they're almost impossible to kill. I've started tanks with guppies. Uh, I've seen guppies live in five gallon buckets for weeks with no filter. So uh, this is the best method when it comes to cycling an aquarium using fish. Get yourself some plants, get yourself some floaters, get yourself a decent plant light. I see so many people buy like these stupid cheap lights or the, like the, the kit lights that come with tanks like these ones right here, these like $7 little plant L or little tank LEDs, they're pointless. Get yourself, spend $25 to $30 on a real aquarium plant LED light. I promise you, you're gonna get, it's so easy. You're gonna grow plants and you're gonna be like, wow, this is awesome, I promise you. If you're gonna spend money on anything, have it be a light. Okay, I'm done ranting. So add one to two guppy fish. Have your filter running. I would advise a sponge filter if you have a smaller tank. They're so easy and cheap, literally three to five dollars. So you've added one or two guppies, you have your plants, you have your floaters, the floaters are gonna save you because what happens is the, the small guppies or the small fish give off ammonia 
and plants love to feed on ammonia. So as that's happening, the, the entire tank is becoming an ecosystem while you have fish in there. I understand that you maybe don't want to keep guppies long term, but just start with a couple of them. They're super easy to get rid of and they're always easy to add to a community aquarium. And within a couple of weeks, like four to six weeks, you should have a cycle in your aquarium. Uh, you can test your cycle by testing the nitrate levels in the aquarium. If you have any nitrates whatsoever, you have a cycle, which is great. If you have ammonia in the tank, you don't have a cycle yet. And something uh, just honestly, though, guys, I tell people not to sit there and obsess about testing because a lot of these test kits, what happens is they're just not super accurate. I've done test kits. Uh, I've done testing where like back to back, I've had different results and then you have different things going wrong with the test kits. You know, it's it's really kind of it. This is simple stuff. Literally, get yourself a glass box and aquarium, get a plant substrate, get some plants, plant them in there, get a decent light, throw a filter on there, throw two guppies in there, and then just let it do its thing for like two months. And don't add any fish, let it cycle out. Uh, that's what I'd call the seasoning stage. It's such a huge factor. So many people go out and buy a new beta and they set up this tank and then like so many fish die because people rush the cycle. It, it can be super simple guys, I promise. So hit me up in the comment section. I wanna hear from you. Um, hopefully this video helped uh, you figure out how to cycle a fish aquarium using fish. Uh, it, this is kind of like, maybe some people are gonna be like, don't do it this way. It doesn't have to be done like that. But honestly, guys, it's super easy. The fish don't get harmed either. As long as you don't have too much ammonia. Um, and one caveat to that, uh, I, wanna, I wanna rewind back a little bit. Add your guppies or your small little fish, whatever you choose, a beta, a platy. Platys are pretty tough as well. Don't feed too much because you also have to remember that food that you put into the tank can also start to decay and add more ammonia to the bio load. Give the fish, just feed a little bit, make sure that you, the amount you feed, the, the amount you, uh, the amount which you feed your fish is consumed within like a couple minutes. That's perfect because the fish are uh, filling their stomachs. I gotta go guys, I'm ranting. Uh, let me know how to cycle a fish aquarium using fish. Shh.